What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. I uploaded the Diamond Miami Cuban Link, the Diamond Tennis Chain video. It was a great moment, honestly, to see where we've come and where we are at today. Big moment. But as always, in the back of my mind, I knew the trolls were going to come out and say something. And Chris managed to do that. He said the diamonds are not dancing. Fake foo-foo. So I'm going to address that comment in this video right now. Hopefully, Chris and others can learn a thing or two when it comes to diamonds and lighting. I'm going to cover that right now. With that being said, let's get started. Now, when we're talking about diamonds, dancing, disco balling, shining, it's all the same thing. That's all what we want. We need a very big ingredient and that is proper lighting. Now, jewelry stores have stronger lighting, there's natural lighting, and then when I made that video, there was no lighting and it was because really, I had to get that order shipped out. I had to make the video as well as my other orders for my clients from www.jacoji.com. I had to get out. So I had a lot going on, didn't have a lot of time to make that video, but I knew I had to make that video. And I wanna just give some proof to the people out there and show you guys here is an example the same lighting situation of the five gram boss lady fortuna nice size diamonds there's not a lot going on in this video as you guys can see but when i take it outside into natural sunlighting now you see those dancing like chris wanted to that is the big difference and honestly with those cuban links with those tennis chains i did not have the time to take them and film it all it just wasn't going to happen but i want to show you guys with your own eyes before I start making this video because you know that way it's right there in front of you. You guys see what I'm talking about. The thing as a consumer, which is you guys looking at these videos and trying to learn as much as you can before you go buy out an expensive purchase like a piece of diamond jewelry is the lighting. Jewelry stores spend a lot of money on those lights ahead. You're looking down at a diamond, but on top of you is what's really selling you is that lighting because those diamonds look a lot better under those lightings. Um, and the big experience, which I, it still stands with me, when I was first starting out, I was at a jewelry store doing a trunk show with my first collection of pieces. A customer came in, an older lady, and she definitely had experience with buying pieces. She said, you know what, looks good, but I want to take it outside and see what the diamonds look outside. Very confident in my pieces and the diamonds I buy because I write those big checks, so I know exactly what I'm buying. And she came back in, she said, it's great, I love it, I want it. She bought it. So that is a huge thing and the experience. You, you, you get caught in a jewelry store, you buy an engagement ring or you're buying a diamond tennis bracelet, some anything it is, and you get caught up in that moment. You have to kind of take a step back and realize and really look because the thing you don't want is that diamond ring, that diamond piece of jewelry to look really good under those lights in that environment and then you go outside or you wear it a week later and you're just constantly trying to do this to make those diamonds have some sort of reaction so that as a consumer is what you really have to be careful about for me personally i did it backwards i showed it with no diamonds dancing at all because i'm very confident like i said in the quality of diamonds i buy because i pay for myself they're expensive and the overall craftsmanship. Honestly, my diamond cut Franco chains shine more than most jewelers diamonds do, so I'm not worried about it at all. That is the main tip, is always be aware and know that those diamonds overhead are very tricky. They definitely are there for a reason to enhance the overall look of jewelry. So if you can, you could ask to if they have a security guard or something to go see the piece under the natural lighting and just see how it looks with the sunlight or somewhere maybe in the corner store where the lighting is not so intense to see what that piece of jewelry looks like just so you can compare so you're comfortable you don't want to be in that position where you feel like you got scanned or ripped off because it looked a lot better in that store you're kind of in the heat of the moment so that is the main thing that I've learned with the jeweler lightings, with lighting overall and diamonds and gold too, it has the same effect. So um, just be careful, always just look and kind of know what you're buying and feel comfortable with that purchase. That is the main tip is to be comfortable with whatever you're buying. That's it for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and we will see you on our next jewelry video.